Welcome to the Canadian Math Kangaroo Contest video for grades 7 and 8 students on geometry. There are four questions to solve following the introduction. Have paper and pencil ready, and please be sure to pause the video to first try the problems on your own. The distance of line segment AB is represented with this notation. A visual representation of the line segment AB is shown on the screen. Perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional shape or a 2D shape. The perimeter formulae for commonly known 2D shapes are as follows. For rectangles, the perimeter is calculated as 2 times and in parentheses A plus B. The perimeter for squares is calculated as 4 times A. The perimeter for a triangle is calculated as a plus b plus c, variables that represent the side length of a triangle. Please find the perimeter of the following composite 2D shape. While there is not a strict formula for these composite shapes, remember that to calculate the perimeter, you may simply find the distance around the 2D shape. For this shape, Realize that it is a composite shape that we can manipulate to easily find the perimeter. We see that AB is equal to length FE plus length DC, which is 22 centimeters. We can also see that length ED plus length CB is equal to length AF, which is 8 centimeters. To find the perimeter, we add up the length of all the sides of the 2D shape. This gives us a perimeter of 60 centimeters. The radius is half of the line segment extending from the center of a circle or sphere to the circumference or bounding surface, which is shown on the screen. As a fun fact, did you know that the plural form of radius is radii? Please try to solve this question. Two identical circles are arranged, as shown on the screen. The circles touch the sides of a rectangle. The perimeter of the rectangle is 24 centimeters. What is the radius of the circle? Please pause the video and try it on your own. As shown on the diagram, the perimeter of the rectangle is composed of 12 radii length of the circle. The question states that the perimeter of the small rectangle is 24 centimeters, and we know that the perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional shape. Therefore, the radius is 24 centimeters divided by 12, which is 2 centimeters. We are now ready to solve some questions together. Now, let's take a look at question number one. Points A, B, C, and D are marked on the straight line in some order. It is known that AB equals 13, BC equals 11, CD equals 14, and DA equals 12. What is the distance between the farthest two points? Suppose we draw a line and put points A and B on it with A to the left, because otherwise we will obtain a symmetrical arrangement of the points which will yield the same answer. Now, there are two possibilities to place the point C along the line so that the length of the segment BC is 11. One possibility is to place C on the right of point B. And the other possibility is to place C on the left of point B. Similarly, for each of them, there are two possibilities to place a point D along the line, so the length of the segment CD is 14. One possibility is to place D on the right of C. The other is to place D on the left of C. Since we have two possibilities to place C and two possibilities to place D, we have a total of four possibilities. We can now examine all four possibilities. Note that in the last possibility, 
does the length of segment DA equal 12? According to the diagram, the furthest points on the line are D and B. We observe the distance between D and B is equal to 12 plus 2 plus 11, and that's equal to 25. This corresponds to answer choice D. We are now ready for the next question. We will now look at question two. Question two asks, Eleanor draws the six vertices of a regular hexagon and then connects some of the six points with lines to obtain a geometric figure. Then this figure is definitely not A. Please pause the video and try to solve this problem on your own before proceeding to watch the solution. First, let us label the six points of the regular hexagon as shown. Since A, B, C, D, E, F is a regular hexagon, meaning all angles are equal and all side lengths are equal, each of its interior angles equals 120 degrees. Triangle ABC must be isosceles as angle ABC equals 120 degrees and angle BAC equals angle BCA and both equal 30 degrees. This forms an isosceles triangle. Consequently, angle ACD is equal to angle BCD minus angle BCA. This yields 90 degrees. Thus, triangle ACD is a right triangle. We can see that ABCD is a trapezoid as AB and CD are equal lengths on the regular hexagon. CB and AD are parallel to each other because the angle at B is equal to the angle at C and the angle at A is equal to the angle at D. This forms a trapezoid. We can also see that ABCE is a kite as length AB is equal to length BC as they are both equal to the side length of the regular hexagon. AE is equal to CE as the two points that constitute each line segment are both two vertices away from each other on the regular hexagon. This forms a kite. Now suppose we try to obtain a square. First, notice that all vertices of a regular n-gon lie equidistantly on a circle. A n-gon is a regular polygon with n sides. In the case of n equals 6 for a hexagon, the length of arcs between adjacent vertices is 1 sixth of the circumference. However, in the case of a square, the length of arcs must be 1 fourth of the circumference as there are four vertices in a square. Clearly, we cannot choose four such points of the given six points that make up a hexagon where each pair of chosen consecutive points makes up one-fourth of the circumference. Therefore, it is not possible to obtain a square. Therefore, the correct answer to this question is C. This figure is definitely not a square. We are now ready for the next question. We will now look at question 3. Six identical circles are arranged, as shown on the figure. The circles touch the sides of a large rectangle, as well as each other. The vertices of the small rectangle coincide with the centers of four of the circles. The perimeter of the small rectangle is 60 centimeters. What is the perimeter of the large rectangle? The perimeter of the small rectangle is composed of 12 circle radii, which is illustrated in the diagram. The question states that the perimeter of the small rectangle is 60 centimeters. Therefore, each radius is 60 centimeters divided by 12, or 5 centimeters. The perimeter of the big rectangle is composed of 20 radii. From the previous step, we know that each radius is 5 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of the big rectangle is 20 times 5, or 100 centimeters, 
and that corresponds to choice D. We are now ready for the next question. Let's get into our last question of today now. Question four asks: The squares on the figure are formed by intersecting the segment AB by broken line AA1, A2 until A12, B. The line segment AB is 24 centimeters. What is the length of broken line A, A1, A2 until A12, B? We're given five answer choices. Answer choice A is 48 centimeters. Answer choice B is 72 centimeters. Answer choice C is 96 centimeters. Answer choice D is 56 centimeters. Answer choice E is 106 centimeters. Please be sure to pause this video and try this question on your own before proceeding. Let's get into the solution now. As we can see in this figure that A, A1, A2 until A12, B is marked in red. The broken line consists of three sides from each of the squares, so the length will be three quarter of the total sum of the perimeters. And in this diagram, you can see the length of AB. On the other hand, the segment of AB consists of one side of each of the squares. So the length of AB is one quarter of the total sum of the perimeters. If the broken line is equal to three quarter of the total perimeter and segment AB is equal to one quarter of the total perimeter, then the length of the broken line is equal to three times AB, which is equal to three times 24 which is equal to 72 centimeters, which corresponds with answer choice B. Thank you for your attention. We hope you have learned a few new ideas.